Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be going through the settings tab of blogger.com. As you can see going across the top under settings, you have basic, publishing, formatting, comments, archiving, site feed, email and mobile, open ID, and permissions. On the basics tab, we have blog tools where you can import a blog, export, delete a blog. Here's where you can create the title of your blog and again a nice description. Uh, choose something that is relevant to what you're doing uh, but is not too wordy either. Okay? This is where they're asking if you're going to add your blog to our listing. Now as they say, let's say a listed blog may be linked to blogger.com such as the blogger home page and next blog. Okay. It's up to you whether you want to do it or not. The blog will still be displayed on your profile and it's still available on the internet even if you don't choose to list it with them. Okay. Now with this one, letting search engines find your blog. If the purpose of having the blog is to generate traffic, of course you want the search engines to be able to find you. All right. Again, that's up to you. You may say, well, I'm not ready to let the search engines search me yet. Okay, great. Not a problem. This is where it shows quick editing on your blog. This is for you to be able to go in and if you're looking at the blog and just say, oh, I got to I got to change this real quick. OK, great. Show email post links. Okay, now this one lets your visitors easily email posts from your blog to other people. So again, getting your blog out in front of other people's eyes, this is a good thing. Depending on what kind of content you're going to be doing, uh, you can choose whether they're going to they're going to allow adult content or not on your blog. Now this is global setting because per each account you can have multiple blogs. So on the global settings, you can select what your post editor is going to be. You can either do an updated editor, which is recommended, the old type editor, which is the one that we showed in the previous uh, video. Or you can do the hide compose mode. This is if you are very familiar with HTML editing instead of what is called WYSIWYG editing, text editing, which is the editor that we used in the previous post. So this is enable transliteration. So this is where you can add a button to the toolbar for converting words from English to a selected language. Again, if you're you know, talking about topics that are going to bring in a different regional or geographic audience, that may be something you can consider. On publishing, this is where you can get a custom domain where you can purchase a .com or a .net or you can choose what you're going to do for it. Okay, So the blogspot address we have right now is this one. Again, you can check and see if you can change it. On the formatting, this is where you choose how often posts are showed, how many days, all right. And you can choose if there's a date, how you want the date looking on the date header format. They have different versions there. You can archive the index. Okay, so you can show, okay, this is for June, or you can say this is the year and then just the some months. You can do a timestamp. You can choose which time zone, language. Okay, you can convert line breaks to where it looks more fluid as it's on there. You can also enable dynamic views. Okay. Uh, you can show the title field. You can show link fields. You can also enable float alignment for the images. Okay. Um, now, post templates right here are pre-format the post editor with text or code that will appear each time you create a post. If you have one of those, great. Then you're doing things consistently. On comments, here's where you can decide who is allowed to comment on your blog. Depending on how private you are, you want to make sure that the comments are relevant to the topics. Again, for archiving, you choose how frequently this happens. For a site feed, this is where you go in and you can have the other blogs that you're watching, you can have them feeding into your blog. Email and mobile, you can choose, okay, from certain contacts, they can post to your blog. Okay. Um, Open ID is where you're able to go in and link up with other Open ID websites. And then, of course, permissions, who's allowed to post. And that's going through the settings tab. 